applying themes to blank presentation. There are some preloaded slide design themes in MS PowerPoint that help us in enhancing the outlook of the presentation. They quickly design the presentation by giving it a background and other effects. The steps to apply a theme to the presentation are Click on the Design tab. In the Themes group, click on the drop-down arrow to open a list of themes. Click on the required theme to apply it to the slide or slides. Changing the background color. The background of each slide can be changed. The steps to change the background color of a slide are Select the slide in the slides pane whose background color you want to change. On the Design tab, in the Customize group, click on the Format Background button. The Format Background pane appears on the right of the window. It contains a list of different fill options, example, Solid Fill. Click on the drop-down arrow of color and select the required color from the color grid. Note, if you have applied any design theme on the slides, then the method can't be applied to change the background color of the slides. Note, if you want to reset the background, click on the Reset Background button. To change to a color that is not in the theme colors, click on More Colors. The Colors dialog box appears. Now, either click the color that you want on the Standard tab or mix the required color on the Custom tab. Note, Custom Colors and Colors on the Standard tab are not updated if you change the design theme later. Check the Hide Background Graphics option if you want to hide the background image. Move the Transparency slider to change the background transparency. By default, it is 0% full opaque. If you set it to 100%, then it will be transparent. Click on the Apply to All button if you want to apply the color to all the slides in the presentation or close the Format Background pane to apply the color to the selected slide only. The steps to apply the Gradient Fill effect to the background of the slides are Select the slide and click on the Design tab, Format Background button. The Format Background pane appears. Select the Gradient Fill option in the Fill section. Now, see the figure given below for further steps. Click on drop-down arrow of Preset Gradient and select an option. Click on drop-down arrow of Type and select the type of Shades. Click on drop-down arrow of Direction and select any one direction of the color shade. There are tabs on the Gradient Stops slider. Click and drag these tabs to set the darkness of color shades. To change the color of the gradients, Select any tab on the Gradient Stops slider and change the color in the Color List box. Click on Apply to All, apply the effects to all the slides or close the pane. To apply picture or texture fill effects. The steps to apply the picture or texture fill effect to the background of the slides are Select the slide and click on the Design tab. Format Background button. The Format Background pane appears. Select the Picture or Texture Fill option in the Fill section. Now you have two options and you can choose one of the following. Setting a picture as the background. To insert a picture as background, click on the File button. A dialog box appears. Select the picture in it and click on the Open button. Drag the slider to increase or decrease the transparency of the selected picture. Check the Tile Picture as Texture option to set the picture or clip art as tiles on the slide. After setting the options, click on Apply to All to apply the effects on all the slides or close the pane. Setting a clip art as the background. To insert a picture from internet as background, click on the online button. 
a window appears. Type the category and press the enter key. Click on the required picture to insert. Setting the texture as the background. To insert a texture, click on the drop down arrow of texture and select an option. To apply pattern fill effect. The steps to apply the pattern fill effect to the background of the slides are Select the slide and click on the design tab. Format background button. The format background pane appears. Select the pattern fill option in the fill section. Now choose the following options. Setting a pattern as the background. Select a pattern from the given options. Click on drop down arrows of foreground and background color list boxes to choose the foreground and background colors. After setting the options, click on apply to all to apply the effects to all the slides or close the pane. Inserting a picture from file. You can insert any picture from the local storage on a slide. The steps to insert a picture on a slide are On the insert tab in the images group, click on the picture button. The insert picture dialog box appears. Locate and select the picture that you want to insert. Click on the insert button. The inserted picture appears on the slide. Note Generally, the picture is inserted at the center of the slide and hides the matter of the slide. There are eight small boxes on the edges and corners of the picture, known as the resizing handles. You can resize the picture using the resizing handles. The picture can be moved to another location on the slide using the move cursor. When you select the picture, the format tab activates and you can use it for formatting the picture. Inserting a word art on the slide. You can insert designer text word art on the slide. The steps to insert a word art on the slide are Select the slide on which you want to insert a word art. On the insert tab in the text group, click on the drop down arrow of the word art button. A list of word art styles appears. Click on any one of the given styles. A text box appears on the slide with your text here, written inside it. Type your text and click outside the text box. You can modify and format the word art using the format tab after selecting the word art. Applying text formatting. You can format the text on the slide using different text formatting options available in MS PowerPoint. The options are available on the Home tab in different groups. Let us see these options. In the image given below, some options for text formatting are highlighted. To apply any type of formatting, first select the text that you want to format and click on Desired option. Click on this option to change the font. Click on this option to change the font size. Click on this option to increase the font size. Click on this option to decrease the font size. Click on this option to change the font color. Click on this option to change the sentence case. Click on this option to add a shadow behind the text. Click on this option to make the text underlined. Click on this option to make the text italic. Click on this option to make the text bold. Left alignment means that the text is lined up along the left margin. Right alignment Lines up the text along the right margin. Centered alignment means that the text is aligned around a midpoint. Justified alignment means that the text lines up along both margins.